Hey guys, I'm Christy and on this channel I teach you how to grow your hair long and healthy while cultivating your love for Jesus Christ and living your best life. So if you're looking for simple, doable actions that you can take to grow your natural hair, do keep watching this video and hit the subscribe button. So today there'll be two parts to this video. This beginning segment where I'm in this red hoodie, I will be doing my hair on two week or three week old hair I'll be refreshing it and moisturizing it and you'll be able to see um, it's not that clean and I just want to point out that here I had used hair grease so you can see this white cast on my hair I've noticed this cast comes when I use anything that has petroleum jelly um, just any petroleum based product leaves this white cast on my hair I don't notice this when I use sheer butter so that was interesting when you get to film yourself doing your hair you notice stuff you did not have seen if you are not filming so I'm glad actually I do film so I've been able to see that petroleum products leave a white cast on your hair and in the next segment you're going to see that my hair is going to be clean and clear and my hair will be darker so maybe your hair just needs to be washed just that as you'll see throughout this video i'm always combing my hair from the tips to the roots and i'm also mixing combing my hair with finger detangling so do take note of that so today i want to talk about finding your purpose yes in this little short video i want to touch on this very wide topic and just give you my two cents on it if there's something that people really struggle with it's that finding their purpose i feel like for most people they will walk around on this earth until the day they die without really knowing why god placed them on this earth and for those of us who know like that is the big one of the biggest gifts is to really know your purpose on this earth as a christian i do know that purpose outside of god really doesn't exist because human beings we were made in the image of god to carry out his work and his purpose for his kingdom on this earth so everything that we do especially as christians is to go back round this circle does it please the lord is what i'm doing pleasing the lord if the answer is a no then automatically you're outside god's purpose for your life that's where you can start i'd like to say that your purpose comes from your inner self the very inner part of your being those things or that thing that you do that you absolutely love doing like you can do that thing whatever it is whether it's braiding hair whether it's painting whether it's calculating people's taxes if you do something and you absolutely enjoy it like when you when you do it time just flies when you do it your your mind just drifts away to another dimension I'd say start there as well. That is where your joy is and God sees that. He put that in your heart and in your mind so that you can grow in that. Something that has really helped me on finding my purpose and the reason to why <laughs> why God placed me on this earth is I know for a fact that I love to paint. I've talked about this before. I know that I am an artist. I am fully artistic like my whole life revolves around the arts whether it's music singing all of that but i noticed and i know that i can't do it alone so that's another thing you cannot dis fully discover your purpose alone or in solitude you need others that's why you were created in community i'd say once you know what you want to do what when you know what god has placed in your heart to do don't carry it out alone don't be a solo man or woman take it to the lord in prayer and also go out of your way to meet people like you like-minded people like you and if you're still looking i'd say continue to look spend time now this is opposite of what i've just said if you're in the looking phase spend time alone <laughs> you should spend time with yourself discovering what you like to do get hobbies get um start doing things that you don't really uh do on a regular start reading books read books about different topics watch different documentaries just do things that you would not normally do if you have a job that is monotonous do things that are especially tuned to you as an individual it has nothing to do with your job it has nothing to do with school it's just about you and your soul and your spirit and what you love to do from the inside so you have to spend time alone as well as much as you're in a community you cannot really know yourself without spending time with yourself 
Back to my point about needing a community. Because I'm an artist, I know that I need a community of artists, people who paint and whatnot, and people who enjoy art. Whatever field you're in, you need to find people who have similar interests to you. Okay, now back to the hair. As you can see, this is very clean hair. I'm just from the shower, and you can see my hair is much darker than in the pre previous clips. So that's because there's no product on my hair. There's no um, leave-in nothing. It's just um, dry and clean hair. So now I'm going to build the products and then you'll see there could be some color change. But yeah, I hope you're enjoying this video. If you are, please do subscribe. Okay, back to purpose. The book of Proverbs mentions that a lazy man literally gets nothing. If you love to sleep, you slack, you get nothing. It also mentions that somebody who is diligent will work and they'll end up having riches and wealth and sitting with people who are likewise rich and wealthy. So we all know it's very difficult to work diligently on, a, on something you have no interest in. But if you work on something you have a passion in, you're most likely not going to want to oversleep. You'll want to wake up. You'll want to build yourself and do something that is worthwhile. So essentially, getting to know your purpose is one step further, one step ahead in creating generational wealth. Because diligence is like, can I say it's the fuel to wealth? Doing something every day consistently and persistently and well will inadvertently bring you wealth and riches. So the process of you living out your purpose is not easy. It's not simple. It's usually met with a lot of retaliation and pushback from those who are around us because most of the time our purpose and our passion does not align with what society thinks we should be doing at specific times. Some of us may need to quit those jobs which have um, stable incomes to start our own business. Some of us may need to go back to school when they are 40 years old and they have two kids. Whatever your purpose is, involve God in it and he will make a way. There's always a way. Just be a willing vessel and remember that it is the Lord who makes us gain wealth. No matter how diligently we work, we should never forget that it is God in heaven who gives us the ability to create wealth, to make wealth, and to multiply that wealth to, wealth to pass it to other generations. So we definitely cannot take all the credit. All the credit belongs to God. So let us position ourselves and ready ourselves to hear from the Lord. If you know that you should be doing something, please do it. If God has spoken to you and this video is like speaking to you, you know that you should be doing something, let's get to do that thing. If you know you should be seeking God, you know that that job is not fulfilling you, you know what you're doing right now is not what you should be doing, let's seek God. I just want to remind us not to look down on the things that we are doing. Um, God loves his children. Humble beginnings. Do not despise your humble beginnings. No matter where it is or what you are doing, keep at it. And so here's my hair. It's beautiful and it's juicy. And guys, if you want to start a YouTube channel, do it. Whatever it is, do it. So I'll see you in my next video and may the Lord Jesus Christ bless you with his peace. Ciao.